next uh, we'll see one switch case statement if else conditions i didn't highlight much since anyway you have you have it here then so i will show you the switch case statements so we don't have switch keyword here so just case statements is enough for us uh, i am this is uh, one method actually this is one method uh, definition so define error message i'm passing the error code int and inside the method definition here right side if you check error code or yeah in, if i need to defer this method explanations to later i can explain in the second part of it so let's say i have val status equal to 500 val message equal to status match match is the scala keyword and case statements are same like your java but syntax you will have arrows here okay if it is 200 the status code is 200 then successful uh, especially this is for web services uh, web service are uh, http response code types 200 is successful 400 is means error we call the service incorrectly 500 means the service encountered an error so internal server error so this is being printed and error message the string will be returned to this message for here this thing let me execute this from then matrix is what is it this is more meaningful than map reduce <laughs> okay yeah just execute this portion okay so what is it written so i set that status code as 500 so it called it so it, it printed error the service encountered error status int equal to 500 still the message string is error this is the one that i am returning and one good advantage with case statements in uh, scala is you don't need the break statements let's say suppose if it is the same java if i don't have break statements after each case statement okay so after 400 case statement execution if i don't have break then even 500 will also get executed in java okay that loophole uh, is no longer uh, valid in here so it will execute only the 400 portion see it executed we call the service incorrectly so this message got uh, executed and this value got assigned to this message error but after that 500 these statements were not executed so automatically so after this case statement execution the control got returned back to out of that case match whereas in java it will not happen it will if you don't provide return or break statement it will continue executing the next sequence of statements as well that was drawback of java here you don't have that okay and the same way inside the method also it's the same thing like error code match case one while not found exception case to permission deny case three invalid operation and default values you can define with underscore case space underscore the default value 